Sometimes I'm asked why Bloodhound is not fitted with an ejector seat. Imagine the car is doing 1,000 miles an hour and there is an emergency and Andy is ejected. The instant he's ejected, he'll be subjected to a wind force probably in excess of 10 tonnes. That would be totally unsurvivable. An alternative that is sometimes suggested is to eject the driver in his cockpit so that he is in a sealed unit and protected from the air pressure. Uh, this could be done but it would be very heavy indeed and very complex. This approach could have reliability problems because all of the systems that lead into the cockpit must be extremely reliable but also instantly detachable in the event of an ejection. Another reason why ejection is not something you can rely on is when something goes wrong in the car it will happen very quickly indeed and it may well be impossible for a computer system to react quick enough and if it tries to do so it is much more likely to respond to a false alarm and on the thrust project we had three false alarms and if we had used an ejector seat that would have been three occasions when we would have ejected Andy and quite possibly killed him. Our solution is to keep the car firmly on the ground and Andy retain whatever control he still has and to stop the engines. That way he can bring the car rapidly to a stop and if during that period the car should break up then he will be protected by the fact that he is in the same type of uh, composite tub that you will see in a Formula One car.